Chapter 19 When King Jehoshaphat of Judah arrived safely home to Jerusalem, Jehu son of Hanani the seer went out to meet him. Why should you help the wicked and love those who hate the Lord? He asked the king. What you have done has brought the Lord's anger against you. There is some good in you, however, for you have removed the Asherah poles throughout the land, and you have committed yourself to seeking God. So Jehoshaphat lived in Jerusalem, but he went out among the people, traveling from Beersheba to the hill country of Ephraim, encouraging the people to return to the Lord, the God of their ancestors. He appointed judges throughout the nation in all the fortified cities, and he gave them these instructions. Always think carefully before pronouncing judgment. Remember that you do not judge to please people, but to please the Lord. He will be with you when you render the verdict in each case that comes before you. Fear the Lord and judge with care, for the Lord our God does not tolerate perverted justice, partiality, or the taking of bribes. Jehoshaphat appointed some of the Levites and priests and clan leaders in Israel to serve as judges in Jerusalem for cases concerning both the law of the Lord and civil disputes. These were his instructions to them. You must always act in the fear of the Lord, with integrity and with undivided hearts. Whenever a case comes to you from fellow citizens in an outlying town, whether a murder case or some other violation of God's instructions, commands, laws, or regulations, you must warn them not to sin against the Lord, so that His anger will not come against you and them. Do this, and you will not be guilty. Amariah, the high priest, will have final say in all cases concerning the Lord. Zebediah, son of Ishmael, a leader from the tribe of Judah, will have final say in all civil cases. The Levites will assist you in making sure that justice is served. Take courage as you fulfill your duties, and may the Lord be with those who do what is right.